Good morning. Good morning. I'm Mary. I'm Linda. Welcome to Pinky Pink. Mall Sisters in the Kitchen. It's a beautiful day. It's so it cool. It's so beautiful. It is it was, so cool. It was 42 degrees here. And yeah. I know our friends in the north, in the, in the northeast, and in Canada and different parts of the world. Some of you don't like winter. We don't really have hard winters here. So we we are like on cloud nine when it gets in the 40s. That is so we, nice We for may us. have a bad winter again, though, because it's starting early. It's yeah. snowing places already. I figured already. you'd come in in a coat. I came in in a jacket, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still I'm freezing. I started to turn that window air conditioner on in the utility room, but I figured you'd probably shake, yeah. rattle and roll yeah. if you walked in. Yeah, um, I had a jacket on. We're going to move over to the stove because we want to get this uh, started and get this in the oven. And uh, so today we're making campfire potatoes. For those of you who might not know what this is, it's something like a breakfast casserole, except it doesn't have eggs in it. This was in a very old book that Mama uh, made for me. And I'm going to use two tablespoons of butter. And um, I hope I don't start knocking stuff off here this morning. <laughs> You ever have days like I that? I sure that have. Not stuff yes, off? I have. I'm going to turn this burner down a minute. I've got my oven on 350. And uh, we're just going to saute some onions in this butter. And this is about a half an onion. It wasn't a big onion. I don't like big chunks of onion. It's not minced, but it's it's chopped real yeah. fine. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in here. I like to smell onions. Uh, yeah. In butter. I, I like to turn this down. Sauteed. Like my butter too. I've got my burner too high. It does. It smells real good. And um, I'm going to just cook these about a minute or two. And you don't want to bite into a raw onion. Yeah. And and then I'm going to add about. Maybe not quite all of that flour. It, it, the recipe says a tablespoon. I put a, t a heaping tablespoon because I wasn't sure if a tablespoon <laughs> would be enough or not. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is a recipe under. I think from when they did chuck wagons, um, or maybe like when they camped. Seriously, I think it is. There was a whole series of recipes. Is that right? It's probably the reason it's called campfire uh, yeah. potatoes. They probably done it in a, around a campfire. I figure they cooked these in an iron skillet around on yeah. an open fire. Yeah. Is what, uh, what I figure. Yeah. Okay, you can add a little bit of that flour in there. Um, it was a heaping tablespoon. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Now we're gonna have some milk over there, so. Do you I, want some more? I didn't pour it all in there. Just a little bit, not much. And, um, okay, I think that's going to be yeah. enough, Mary. Okay. Now, are you ready for the milk? Um, I need to thaw those hash browns out a little bit, or is I, it time? Yeah, you can go ahead and thaw those okay. out. I don't think I'm going to, I've got to check this recipe again. I don't think that you add the milk in there. Oh, okay. Um. No, you don't. You put you pour the milk over the cheese. Oh, okay. And I want to, you okay. know, this was I don't know where Mama got to say it, but um, I have a feeling it was some of those recipes that she used to clip out of the newspaper years yeah. ago. And um, so I'm just gonna put that right there, and we'll I'll take the salt and pepper over back over here, and when we put this together, we'll do that. So um, we're not completely thawing out the hash browns, but we are thawing them out just a little bit because um, we want it we want it to cook a little bit faster. And I forgot to get foil out too. Um, you cook this um, the first uh, few minutes. You cook it covered, and then you take the foil off, and then you finish cooking it with the foil off. So I did, I was going to tear a piece of foil off, and I forgot. So. Um, I was telling Mary this morning when I, I was looking at this recipe, this recipe was probably done when they didn't have a lot of things that we have today, like cream of chicken and different seasonings and different things, because it's a pretty basic recipe. It only has a few ingredients. I did cook four strips of bacon and kind of crumble those up in big pieces, and I'm going to add that to it, Mary, just to give it some flavor. Okay. Um, and I thought about putting Potatoes sausage and bacon. in it. It's always good. Yeah, I think so, too. 
and um, so it's it's um, it's not um, probably I would probably add some cayenne to it to give it a little kick. I'm not on this because I'm gonna I'm going by the recipe except I'm adding bacon. So for our members on our page, uh, it doesn't have the bacon on it. And whenever we, um, uh, I'm going to grab some foil okay. here and watch. That, those are still feels like they're frozen, Linda. Is that still going to be okay? Yeah, or? I, I think so because I want to get it. I don't okay. know, but I want to get it together okay. and get it in the oven pretty okay. quick. So I'll get the spatula and stir them up a little bit. I'll just leave this here. These have been done too, right, Mary? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So y'all bear with me while I move the stuff over. I got my shortbread over here that I made yesterday. We've been getting ready to, um, for our uh, meet and greet for Saturday. Yeah. We're getting ready for that. And, um. So if there has, if there's anyone out there that has not um, let us know that you're coming, uh, you know it's not a have to, but you know we just kind of need to get a kind of an idea about how many's coming uh, so we can set up tables and chairs. Um, but just uh, send a text to um, 903-235-2000. Is it 235? Yes, 2354804. Yeah. Four. And uh, let me know uh, if you're going to be able to come. If you haven't already, let, let us know. Because we, we're doing a drawing. We're going to be giving away some nice gifts. And um, we're just, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. I am too. I'm sorry, Miriam. I'm reaching okay. over you. I've got one tablespoonful of butter here. And uh, this is a 9 by 13 baking dish. And I'm just going to uh, kind of brush butter on the bottom and on the sides. Now, it's got butter in the onions, but I still wanted to add just this little bit of extra flavor to it and let it be in the bottom. It sounds good. I've, I'm like you. I've never made this before. I'm going to look at the other recipes in that series and uh -huh. see what else is in there. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. Years ago, Mama made um, that recipe book I thought she made them for everybody. You said you didn't get one, but I was almost positive that she made them, but she might not have. Um, she had a she photo made you, album. She made you things she didn't make me. Aunt um, Linda was the favorite. Yeah. <laughs> no, Aunt Linda was the one that didn't have kids. Yeah. And, yeah. And I understand that. I understand that because Mother was doing so much for my kids. And uh, until you didn't, so she did more yeah, for you. Yeah, she, she would try to make up for yeah. it. Okay, so we got this in here, and we're going to add the onions in the bottom of the dish. And I'm just going to kind of spread them out a little bit. Now, this dish, to me, it said a 9 by 13. It looks big for what we're going to put in here. But, it again, if you're thinking about this cooked on an open fire, yeah. it probably helped it to cook yeah. faster. Yeah. So I'm just going to kind of... And you're so, just going to put the potatoes on top of that? Well, it's it. I'm going to do it the way it says. Okay. Um, it's a certain order. <laughs> really. And I'm, I'm, I haven't done this, so that's why I'm doing it the way it says. Okay. Uh -huh. um, okay. Then we're yeah, going to add some. Okay. I've already done that. Um, now we're going to add the cheese, and we're going to pour the milk over the cheese. So this is just a little over a cup of medium cheddar cheese. You ever do that, start it on the slicer and yeah. realize it's on the yeah. wrong side of yeah. the blade? Yeah. So that's why those little pieces on there. So I'm just going to do it exactly what it said It'll to do. It'll all melt and be delicious. Which, yeah, it will. I got a couple of pieces there that I, I didn't break up. And this didn't look like much cheese to me, but I hey. actually added a little more than it called for. So I'm all, you know me, I'm always altering my recipes. And then we got three-fourths cup of milk. That was supposed to be a cup of cheese. It was a little bit more. Okay. Um, the milk goes okay. next, right, Mary? Uh, yep. And, yeah, pour the milk over the cheese. Okay. And then your hash browns, and then cover with foil. And this is three-fourths a cup of whole milk. Mike said 
I don't know if I accidentally said whole and he heard me say whole. Why don't you use two percent? He doesn't yeah. use whole milk. Yeah. So anyway, and okay. I'm I'm trying to debate. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a layer of of this. Uh -huh. This is supposed to be twelve ounces of frozen hash browns. I'm probably gonna I probably got at least fifteen or sixteen ounces here. And Mary kind of thought them just a little bit. Oh, we need some salt and pepper, too. So it's right here, Mary. When I put these on there, there would you okay. salt this layer yes. and pepper it, yes. please? Um, you need to season in layers. You, um, well, people need some quick and easy, simple. Yeah, um, and this is quick and easy. It was almost, recipes. almost so quick and easy that I almost thought maybe I shouldn't do it. When, whenever uh, Linda was telling me about it this morning, I said, you want me to put some pepper on that? Yes. Um, she said it was so easy and simple. I said, well, you know what? People want some easy, simple recipes. I have a whole book of, of uh, simple recipes, and I'm going to start making. Um, and I think sometimes it's good to have something simple. Um, this is four slices of bacon that I cooked in the microwave, and I just did a big crumble on it. It's not, um, you know, they're not fine. You could use bacon bits. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to use sausage, you could use sausage. The real bacon bits, not yeah. the <laughs> imitation. And then, whoops. I may have too many hash browns here. Probably, I know I've got at least 15 ounces. I may have more than that. Be sure to get that pepper on there. Did I get enough? Yeah, that looks good. You put salt on it, right? Mary? I did. I only put about a half a teaspoon on that second layer, about that much on the first. Okay. Well, Is that the, about it right? The bacon will give it a little bit. I'll okay. just go ahead and add this since I've got them out here. Okay. Now, that doesn't look like a lot of juice in there, does it? We're going to find out. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's like you were saying. Nowadays, people would be putting cream of chicken soup and all yeah, kind of kinds mixes of stuff in there. In here. But... But I I think this is going to be almost like hash browns, Linda, by not being so much juice. Yeah, I, I think, think so too. I think it's going to be crispy. more like crispy, and I think that'd be great. So I'm going to put the foil on the top of this and put them in the oven, and then I'll clean off our space there, and we can sit down and talk. Uh, I've got a, just a big piece of foil here. And I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to set the timer for 30 minutes. And I'll set this over here. Yeah. I'll have it to you. Thank you. Get it off our table. It's kind of warm. I love this little uh, uh, recipe I book too. holder. I just I love it. I use it all that. the time. Thank you, I and really I forgot do. who sent it to us, Linda. Do you remember? I don't of, remember the name, but it was one of our sweet us. followers yeah. that sent it. We're both, or I guess Linda's moving the camera since. Yeah. We're, so. One thing that we're very good at is both of us leaving the camera at the same time. <laughs> we're like we're following each other or something. Carla that. said, Carla said that uh, she made a um, uh, German chocolate cake yesterday, and she said, Mother. She said, my goodness, I dirtied everything in the kitchen. She says, why does these recipes call? Use this in this bowl and use this in this bowl and use this cup and all that. She said, I had everything in the kitchen dirty. I said, well, that's the way it is when you're baking a cake. It's a lot of steps to it's it. It's a lot of steps yeah. to it. And it take, each it one takes each one of them a takes long time, time too. So, um, Mary, we're always um, having people... I don't know necessarily ask us, but, you know, because y'all are such good uh, friends and viewers and followers, and I don't even like that word followers, but I guess it's a term for social social media, but um, wanting to do everything to help us. So we've we got something that y'all can do that will help us that only takes a second, doesn't cost a dime, and it will be a <laughs> tremendous help to us share our videos yeah uh, we love it when they share right um i swallowed air Sorry. the wrong way here <laughs> we, I want get excited. To, we want you to share like and follow 
uh, uh, tell your friends to do that. Uh, if you if you share it on your Facebook, well then that that creates more uh, you know in the public more people watching our videos or at least get, seeing one of them anyway. Yeah, and there's a lot of people. Um, almost every day that we film, we have people say, "I just found y'all." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's a lot of people that. Um, um, may not have heard about us or may not know about us and it's it's really kind of funny when we think about you know people knowing us <laughs> it's still does it still just kind of make you feel in awe chuck, chuck and i went out to eat sunday uh linda it, it was planned that linda and the boys and all of us was going to go out to eat because they wanted to go out to eat with me on my birthday because they didn't get to go to dallas but Linda and the boys had a sore throat, and it was raining, so they didn't want to go. So Chuck and I went. Well, we're sitting there at the, at the restaurant, and this sweet lady came up, and uh, she said, I hate to bother you, Mary, but she said, I watch you on Facebook. And she, and, uh, she said, I just wanted to say hi to you. And then she went back to sit down, and then she came back again. And uh, Elaine, if you're watching, I, I, I thought of something after you left that I should have done. But anyway, she said she's related to, to Linnell. Is that right? She said, she said, I think I'm related to your sister-in-law, Linnell. Well, my And goodness. so we got to talking. She's from Garrison. She, she, went to, she knows Sue Bell. She knows Chester. She knows all oh, wow. them. And she says she couldn't. She thinks that her grandmother and Linnell's grandmother were sisters. Well, that is a and relation. She, and she couldn't remember her grandmother's last name. I apologize, Elaine. I should have uh, just called her right then. I should have called Linnell and, and asked ask her. her. But I forgot. And also, something I forgot to tell you, Linda, is all you followers, Linnell is sick. She needs your prayers. She's been sick for two days now. And she doesn't have COVID. She doesn't have well, COVID. Bless her heart. But she's in the bed. And uh, she's running fever. Has she been to the doctor? She, she hasn't been it? to the doctor, but uh, she took a COVID test. She doesn't have COVID. So, um, anyway. All right. Well, that's, I got to thinking about that. I should have called Elaine. Yeah. And, I mean, I should have called Linnell. And told her, uh, ask her what her grandmother's name was. I'll try to find out, Elaine, and let you know. <laughs> that was sweet. Uh, and I'm sorry I interrupted no, you. No, no, that's okay. We have to say what we want to say. I forget. Or we forget. <laughs> I do the same yeah. thing. I, I did something this morning that was totally, totally silly and forgetful. I had sent a little gift to somebody, one of my Pampered Chef customers, that was having trouble with their order, which we do from time to time. Mm -hmm. And um, so I carried it in there and told Mike, I've got something else for you to get ready to mail. He gets it all, and I put a note in there, he gets it all ready. And then he comes in and he said, Linda, I already got one uh, envelope for them. <laughs> I had you forgot. asked him to do the same thing last <laughs> night. <laughs> so I you know. just have to laugh at yourself. Right. Right. You know, it's, um, it's certainly not something that, um, you're expecting, you know, when you start aging. I know, I know. Um, and, and I thank God that, you know, we, Mary and I both, uh, not that we don't have health issues, but we are basically yeah. really blessed yes, with we not, are. Being, yes, we are. not having major health mm -hmm. issues. And I thank God for that. But um, I'm going to grab my notebook because we okay. were talking about earlier about getting some ideas right. and some suggestions right. Right. Um, about cooking for cooking, the holidays yes. well what what we're doing is uh we're filling up our calendar for november december and we also are going to be doing more more re more cooking more recipes because it is the holidays and cooking twice a week it's just not um we linda and i may not be together on all of them because uh, it's just too hard for us to drive this every day, but she's going to do some on her on at her house and I'll do some at my house and then we're still going to be together two days a week. But we're going to because of the holidays, you can't get everything that we want to cook and with no, y'all not that many, on not that just many days two days left. a week. So um, so what we thought we would do was um, maybe you y'all comment in your comments what you would like to see us fix on our videos and then we can, we may not fix all of them but it will give us a little bit of idea yeah. of what you want because we know what we cook every year for christmas and thanksgiving it's basically the same thing every year you know and i think we did the recipes last year but it might be something that y'all want to see that you did not 
see the video of last year. So just in your comments, let us know. I know uh, somebody had requested uh, raisin pie. I have that on the on my schedule, and it's been a long time since I made a raisin pie, but I, I'm going to do it for one of you followers that had asked for a raisin pie. So that might be something that y'all might want to do. Give us some ideas what you want to see. Do you know who used to make the raisin pie at Ma's Christmas when we were kids? I don't know. Aunt Selvy. Aunt Selvy. Okay, Aunt Selvie. I couldn't remember. Okay. Always made raisin pies, yeah. and uh, we love raisin pie. Edward yeah. loves yeah. raisin yeah. pie. Yeah. I like raisin pie, too. It's not something I eat a, a lot of, you know. That's why I don't cook it that often. Um, but a little slice would be good. I love raisins. And I hope it turns Daddy out always, <laughs> It will. Daddy always thought raisins was one of the cure-alls for everything. Exactly. Daddy he loved did. raisins. Says it's good know, for your blood. It's they good. call raisins... Um, Nature's candy? Yes, yes. I've seen that. that. I've seen it that. It does to your blood. It's good. For, it's, it does something it, to your blood. Nature's candy. It just yeah. tastes like candy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I like the dark raisins, but I love the golden raisins, yeah, too. I They're so too. pretty. Yeah. They are. So, so do we have we had any comments yet of anything that I need to write down? Um, no, not yet. Uh, somebody asked what temperature you cook that thing in and where you got your pan. Uh, 350 degrees, and that is uh, one of the new fall pampered chef 9 by 13 stone. What is it called? It's enamel stone. stone, baker. Or stone. It, it's, it's not enamel. No. It's stone. No. Um, it's a stone baker, I believe. It's not glazed? No, it's not. Okay, I thought the outside of it was. But that's right, it was those other, those bakers yes. are enamel. Yeah. Okay. okay, we've had some pumpkin pie from scratch. Okay. Well, I've got pumpkin pockets. Little hand, on the, my wrist on my thing is a little pumpkin, but it but we can do a pumpkin pie. But I'm gonna do some little pumpkin. It's little pumpkin pockets. It's real simple. Now, when they say from scratch, I'm sorry, Lynn. No, did you ahead. have another one? No, I, I can wait. When they say from scratch, I've actually made a pumpkin pie from a real pumpkin. And I hadn't done that. And I've made one from the can, like the Libby's pumpkin. Yeah, that's what I use. And my professional opinion, not professional because I'm not professional, <laughs> but my personal opinion, I like the can the I best. do. I know I would. I oh, know really? I would. Now, yeah. it's puree, so it's not a pie filling right. that we use. You're right. no. still making, it's right. still a homemade pie. But um, I did. I did that one year about, I don't know, two or three years ago mm -hmm. when I was still selling for the public. Yeah. And I just, I just like the canned puree the best. You know what? I'm sitting here thinking, I think those pockets that I was looking at yesterday is sweet potato pockets. Okay. It's sweet potato pockets. That's what it is. Okay. So Next. pumpkin pie, what else? Cornbread dressing. And cornbread okay. dressing is on the schedule. And Mary is doing that this year because I did it last right. year. So I'm going to do my recipe. We cook a little bit different on some of the things. Mine is probably more simple than hers, but I'm going to do the dressing oh, on the Hers is delicious. Time. We just do it a little bit different. Um, chocolate pie, which I've is got my that personal on, favorite. I've got that on my list. Did we tell them about the time I tricked you into making a bunch of pot, ch chocolate pies? No, tell, I forgot about it. Tell me. <laughs> you were trying to figure out what everybody liked, and yeah. I was like, this person loves your chocolate pie, yeah. and this person <laughs> loves your chocolate pie, and I named several people just loved your chocolate pie. And then they all got there, and they were like, well, where's where's the cherry pie and the coconut pie? And Mom was like, Linda said y'all like chocolate. <laughs> he wanted, said, I just wanted them to take home. They <laughs> just wanted some extra ones. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I've been, uh, you and I both have talked about that chocolate pie because we made the coconut pie and I and we've told y'all that it's the same way you make a coconut pie, it's a chocolate pie, except you just use chocolate instead of coconut. So we have not done a chocolate no, we pie. Haven't. Pie, so I'll do one. And like Mary said, some of these items that we're going to be cooking, we're going to be cooking individually mm -hmm. and um, uh I hope that y'all know us by now to know that, you know, we are not in competition no, with each other. not at all. We never have been. Mary has her strengths. I have my weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't say that way. We both, we both have our strengths, yeah. and we know what they are. Yeah. But, um, but because of time and demographics alone, we are going to, and I know Mary's already said this, but we are going to be doing some of these separate. The chocolate pie would be a great one yeah. for you to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, real simple. Your, uh, it's real I simple. I have a request. Aunt Linda makes the best cranberry sauce. Yes, she does. Cranberry sauce. Absolutely. Okay, I'll put that yes. down. Actually, did you know I bought four bags yesterday? I didn't know they, they were out in? yet. 
Oh, yes. good. And Walmart had a Mark 198. Um, we have a, a food store. It's about 25 miles north of here. It's called Crump's. And they have a lot of specials. And exactly. um, I get their flyer every week. And I noticed that they had cranberries two for five. And I thought, well, you know, I, everything else is going up. So they're usually a couple of dollars for a 12 ounce bag. They're not big bags. So I thought that's probably a decent mm -hmm, price. Mm -hmm. I was at Walmart the other day in Marshall. They had them out and they were, the, the uh, price posted was $1.98 a bag. Okay. So I grabbed four bags. And then when I checked them out, how much they were, were they? Two, three something? Two thirty-four bags. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I got them because I yeah. wanted them, but the price. Yeah. I was going to look yesterday when I was at Walmart for the cranberries, and I didn't. I forgot. But I do have. You have to get them when they get when they get them out, and put them in the freezer until you get ready. Yeah, for them. you do. And yeah. I I usually try to buy buy a few extra yeah. bags yeah. in case I want to make something around Easter yeah. or. or I think I'm going to do, um, uh, we said yesterday, I was going to do the turkey, and you're going to do the ham? Yeah, is that, is that, yeah. Mary's going to do a turkey. I'm going to do a turkey, and Linda will do a ham. Um, broccoli and rice casserole, <laughs> I, let me know if y'all want me to show that, because I've actually done that on video before, but that's one my kids always likes for Christmas and Thanksgiving, um, is the broccoli and rice casserole, but if if y'all don't, if I don't get any requests for it, I won't, because... Um, I, I have got that. We have got that on video. Yvonne V said something I'm not so sure about. Maybe y'all have made it before. A mayonnaise cake? I have heard that, yes. Uh, I've, heard I of, have that. I've heard of a chocolate cake with mayonnaise in it. Yeah. It's um, It makes it real moist. It's yes. kind of the equivalent of yes. using sour cream yes. in a cake. There's, yeah, there's several. And um, I'm making something tomorrow. I guess I'll wait until y'all tomorrow. But it's got something in the, in the frosting that... Um, the feeling that uh, is I've never heard of before. So oh. it's tune in tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you today <laughs> what it is. It's a controversial item it is. Linda and Mom. Yeah, right? okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the warning, Linda. <laughs> um, and then uh, Monday, um, of course, we're going to be, we'll be cooking tomorrow at her house, like she said. And then Friday, we may do like a round table. We're getting ready for Saturday. Yes. Um, and I told y'all um, a couple of weeks ago, if y'all miss Saturday, y'all are going to miss something because we're going to have a couple of little surprises. We're going to have some surprises in your bag that you get to come when you come to the meet and greet. And so Friday, we're going to be here kind of uh, like a table thing. We're going to be sitting over there with kind of like a little assembly line, putting all this stuff together. Right. So, um, and then Monday, I'm Lord willing, you know, everything is always contingent. Hopefully nothing happens, but... Uh, Lord willing, Monday, I'm going to be doing something here by myself. Yeah, because I'm, you are busy Monday. I'm going to Kinley's birthday party. We're having that oh, meet that's and greet. This weekend. Yes. Are you going to film any of that? I will if you want me to. On Saturday, we're doing the meet and greet, and it depends on whether I go by myself or not. If I go by myself, I'm leaving Saturday and going to... Um, uh, go, and, go ahead and go up there. But if I don't, I may wait and go Sunday morning. The party is on Sunday. And um, so I won't be back until Monday. So right, she's going to video right. Monday by herself. And I'll try to video part of her birthday party. Okay. It's the strangest thing. She's doing a, uh, like a Halloween birthday party for her, for a one-year-old. But what did It'll she, be cute. It'll be cute, but, you know, it's just not our generation. No, it's, it's not. It's different. You know, her, her uh, baby shower was, wasn't it cows? Yeah. It was cows. It was cows. But it's cute. Miranda loves to decorate. She and does. And she does. She's a good job. She got that from job. her meemaw. Um and I hate not to go, Mary, but I just cannot hardly be gone two weekends in I know, a row. I know. That's fine. And, I but, just have to go because it's Kenley's yeah. birthday. First, first birthday. May not get to go anymore, but I'm going to her first birthday. And party. I've already ordered her gift, and yeah. she's supposed to get yeah. that tomorrow. So, um, anyway, uh, yes, I want to see pictures, and I want you to do okay. a couple of clips from that. Okay. So, um, now what else were we talking now, about? Now, that mayonnaise cake. Food. Was you talking about a chocolate cake? I think this book I have has a mano. It's called Mano Cake. I think it is. I'll check and see. We'll check on that. Okay. 
Any other items that anyone has said? Uh, uh, candied sweet potatoes. That's Linda's specialty. Red okay. velvet cake. Oh, Mary's I'm doing, doing a that. red velvet cake in December. A, a diabetic pie. Not a diabetic pie, but you know, a sugar-free pie. I have got some recipes for gluten-free cakes. Have you? Um, I'm not going there. I know. Um, <laughs> but sugar-free. You do do some sugar-free yeah. pies. I can do I can do that chocolate uh, uh, with the... Uh, the sugar substitute. Um, I'm going to put me, I'm going to put you down for that for a sugar-free pie, okay. whether you do a chocolate or okay. coconut. Mary okay. usually makes some yeah. uh, Christmas yeah, that are sugar-free because apple stack cake, rice pudding, apple um, stack cake. A bunch of people want broccoli rice casserole. Okay, okay. so they do want that. Okay. okay. Christmas rice. I don't know what that is. I don't either. Um. I know there is a. Um, I've been wanting to make a bread pudding, but I now did I make one? I you did, did make one, but pudding. I found the custard that I want to go with it. Somebody, uh, you remember I made it and I didn't like the custard, but I'm not do I'm not necessarily doing that now. But I did find the recipe to that custard filling. Okay, that, uh, buttermilk pie, buttermilk pie. We've I've have we done butter, that before? I've made a buttermilk. I know pie, I've sold them. Yeah, divinity. Now Linda's a divinity. Okay, I can handle that. I'll do the buttermilk pie. I know. But y'all know that. the divinity is going to be loud because it's a lot of mixing with the mixer. <laughs> um, corn pudding. I don't know. What that is. I do. Is I that got like a recipe. A corn casserole it's, or it's corn pudding? It's a corn pudding. It's a corn pudding. I got the recipe. Um, they said yes. Mayonnaise cake is chocolate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we so, know what that one is. Yes. Erasable pen, y'all. I love them. <laughs> um, okay. Um, anything else? I was wondering about that corn pudding. I, I've got a, it shows a picture of it. I got the recipe to it. Um, it's just, it sounded to me like it was like a cream. It was just corn with the, with the sweet uh, custard light in it. I, I've got the recipe. I, I'll try it. See, I don't know how it would turn out. Someone said Krispy Kreme donut bread pudding, but we don't have a Krispy Kreme around here. No, so. we don't. Um, I'm going to be making giblet gravy, too. Yes, you're making giblet gravy. Fudge. Uh, yeah, we need fudge. Um, and you I, want me to put it down don't fudge? Or, it, you I know can, you make some matter. fudge and I, I make some fudge. I make a cranberry fudge. I made that for the last two years, but I don't have to make it on camera again. Um, and some of the other things that um, I love sweet potato pies. I really prefer sweet potato over pumpkin. I do too. And um, I made I made some last yeah. year, right? Yeah. And the way and I do I bake my sweet potatoes, and to me it makes a lot of difference. I'm look, you know, and you're doing the same thing, going through cookbooks and looking at the recipes, and it just makes me want to cook all the time. I know. Does it, it makes do you just want to get in the kitchen? And I just, just want to cook work all the time. Can't work anymore and if we didn't have so much other going on i would because i love to cook but i don't and i would make too much food I'd make well too much. it's too early to start yeah. putting anything okay, up do that. and when well, the bazaar's coming up i've got to make a bunch of cakes and uh, well i'll say a bunch i'm gonna make syrable and that's gonna be the chocolate that coconut um uh, coconut cake that, that's what everybody yeah, asks as far as coconut cake i'll probably make two or three of those because they they just sell out so fast, and the same people comes every year to buy them. Those coconut with the pineapple yeah. filling. Uh, that's uh, that's one cake that our family has made for Aunt Faye. all of yeah. our life. Yeah, yeah. Aunt Faye, Mama, mm -hmm. Aunt Elsie, yeah. us, both of us have made mm -hmm. them. Um, and then what are some of the other Buc things? Buckeyes. Buckeyes. That's yeah. Linda's. Yeah, that's Buc Linda's. Y'all know Mike is an Ohio State Buckeye fan, yeah. right? Yeah, and. Uh, Let's see, what else was it? Uh, you make the Sandy's real good yes. Sandy's. Sandy is my, my. I have two favorite cookies, and that shortbread and Sandy's, and I've made both of them for, I made Sandy's longer than I made shortbread. Yeah, yeah. But, and um, and she, makes, she makes some good ones, too. Um, uh, the Buckeye, not the Buckeyes, the Mississippi Mud. That's what I make. Yeah. I triple the pu Delicious. recipe on Your that. Your kids always My kids that. always likes those. Um, uh, and I've made those on video, so I don't have to do those. 
Uh, what else was it? You've got a sour cream coconut cake on the yeah, menu. Yeah, I'm making a sour cream coconut cake. This is one that Mama made for mm -hmm. years. This is what I call like a winter cake because mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's um, the icing is different and it is it's just different from yeah. our regular yeah. coconut cake. It's a real good cake. This would be good. I don't know if either one of y'all have ever made this um, orange cream sickle cake. I've mm. seen that recipe. I've seen that recipe, but I don't. I've never made it. I love write it down and I'll look for it. I love orange creamsicles, so yeah, that sounds yeah. really good. Yeah, it does. Now I'm going to be making an orange slice cake this year, yes. and um, it is. It's something that you're going to have to have a lot of patience and don't mind a lot of work to do this. But there are people out there that you know that don't mind the work. Yeah. But this is probably my top three favorite cakes yeah. and that no bake fruit cake that and, yes that is it just it makes so much what it it just makes a just a size a box of a graham cracker box but it's so rich until you split it down the half and then you split it again you can't eat but just about it too very i wind very up having so delicious. much of that left every year but i might not promising i might make that it's a no bake fruit cake um, someone said persimmon pudding, bread, cake, anything with persimmons. Did you know on the walking trail where me and Brayden go uh -huh. every morning, they have a persimmon tree. Really? I didn't even know what it was, but this older, I've made friends with all the older ladies that walk there. Yeah. And she stopped, she said, do you know what this is? And then she told me all about the persimmons. Oh, People okay. just stomp all over them. But oh, no, well, goodness. that is really strange yeah. because um, two things come to mind. One of our, one of our viewers put up uh, some persimmon puree. I've, I noticed it on her page, and um, it, it was in bags. And I believe, Kathy, correct me if I'm wrong, Kathy LePage, my friend, um, I believe that she used to cook something with persimmons. Oh, really? I've never made anything with persimmons. I don't think I have either, Linda. I don't think I have either. We'll have to check that we'll out. Look, we'll go look get, for the recipe. Go to the tree. And, and, get, and get some persimmons. Would, would you? Uh, are you allowed to pick it up? I don't see it's why in the not. woods. It's public property. It's, it's well, if we find the recipe, we may be taking a walk with Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Picking us city. up. It's not far from the one of the parking lots either, so okay. you, it wouldn't be a long walk. Okay. But people are just stomping all over. Aren't they real okay. small? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there, there's like orange smushed all over. Oh my yeah. goodness. People yeah. are just stepping. They're falling off and people are stepping on them. Well, oh, take okay. a bag and pick us up some. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know which ones are ripe. Well, the lady well, that was there, she told me all about how to know when to pick them. And oh my goodness. Stuff. I forgot. It was early. And it was like 6.30, <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. I forgot. Yeah. Well, um, I'll, I'll have to get us, if we can find the recipe. Okay. Um. Date nut loaf. Yeah, that sounds this, good. Yeah. I gotta tell y'all what I did this week. So y'all know that uh, me and Brayden, we eat, um, our dinners are fast food. Like we drive through fast food, so I don't cook a lot. Well, this week I decided I was gonna cook whatever we had in the thing. So I was like, chicken and rice. I have all the stuff. That sounds really good. I'm not feeling good. So I made it. And first of all, Brayden was griping because I cooked the chicken in the air fryer because uh. I was in a hurry <laughs> and second of all I did it in a smaller pan when they were little I did it in the 9 by 13 but I did it in the it was a pampered chef um you know the thing you cooked on the oven and the yes yeah, like, like a uh -huh. rock crop yeah I cooked in one of those yeah. And he was griping because he didn't cook the chicken right. Then he looks in it and it's got cream of mushroom and he's griping about that. So I was like, you're going to get what you get and you're not going to throw a fit. You either eat it or you don't eat anything. <laughs> so I pull it out and I'm so excited because I haven't had it in so long. I scoop it up. My rice wasn't done. Oh, oh no. no. And I was so mad. I just threw the whole thing away. But Brayden, I had already said, you eat it or you eat nothing. <laughs> he ate. He did a whole bit and he ate every bit of it. Would he cook the bad. rice some more? What? Did he cook well, the rice longer? Did I need. Mean, yeah, the rice wasn't done. Yeah. I needed to cook it longer. But by yeah. then, I was so mad because he had fussed at me. Oh. And I had already told him he was going to eat it or eat nothing. And poor kid <laughs> sat there and ate it. But that's okay. It didn't hurt him. Mm -hmm. I love chicken and rice. Yeah. I do, too. You make good chicken and rice. 
I'm okay. actually cooking it soon. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> Next week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, then you can show everybody how to do yeah. it. Yeah. But I, I do mine. I do mine probably different. Yeah. Than, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't well, cook it in the oven. I cook it on top of stuff. Yeah. Well, so yes. what I did when my kids was little is I put everything in one pan and just baked it all. Mm -hmm. Right. And it came out just fine. But it's been, I don't know, eight years since I made it. <laughs> I felt bad, but sure enough, Brad, he even got seconds. I had, I didn't even eat that night. I'm the one that starved because I was like, forget it. I was so mad at myself. That's why we do fast food. Um, well, I, uh, I like to cook. It just, it just takes time, and and you got to be clean up the kitchen and all that. Yeah. So, but I made something last night. I was, um. I didn't care for it that much. Chuck thought it was good, but I did it. <laughs> What'd you make? Oh, Linda. I, <laughs> I didn't know it was a secret. Chuck likes these Taco Bell uh, Mexican pizzas. Pizza. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make one of them. I did make it, and it tasted okay, but I put, they didn't have no Taco Bell sauce. It was some other kind of brand. I didn't like that sauce that I put on it, so I didn't like it. I fried the the um, flour tortilla, and, and next time if I make one, I'm going to bake it because um, I just think it would be crispier. What about the grill pan? Um, Put the grill press on top of it. That might work. That'd make it That crispy. might work. Anyway, I was just experimenting, but I had all the stuff, refried beans. I spiced up them refried beans, put all kind of spices, taco spice and all that in it, and fix the ground meat and... And uh, and then I use that um, uh, that sauce that, and that messed it up for me. Yeah, the I chicken, like I uh, like and, my certain brand of, of taco yeah, sauce. Yeah, and it didn't. I didn't care for it. So have y'all tried the Taco Bell sauces at yes. Walmart? They have Chipotle. They have all different flavors. I haven't. I, I haven't, haven't seen the Chipotle, them. but they I know that it. would be good. The Chipotle, I stick it on it everything. I couldn't find any Taco Bell. Uh, sauces or it's, anything. It's with all the Mexican food. Yeah, well, that's what it's this so was. It, it's got where the the uh, Walmart uh, in Kilgore, the shelves, they just don't have that Mary, much stuff. When I went to get these hash browns the other day, a third of section of the freezer section where the frozen potatoes go mm -hmm. was empty. There was nothing there. Wow. Nothing. It's just, uh, it's just, I'm, I tell you, I'm looking for stuff that I know I'm going to use at Christmas. Where was it I seen? Oh, Sam's. I, uh, I got the paper for Sam's, and they have all the cream of chicken soups. It's going to be a dollar or two dollars off of the case. So, oh, wow. But see, the I'm only problem, that. that's a good deal, but the yeah. only problem with that is I buy the 98% fat free yeah. or the healthy yeah. request, yeah. and it won't well, be that. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Well, the church is, uh, I'm thinking about the church too because we're fixing oh, yeah. to donate, um, donate some things to the church. If you're cooking for anybody, <laughs> you can use the full fat. <laughs> Anyway, Mike won't eat it. <laughs> we take a lot of donations for our fall fest because that's that's how we make more money is is people donate stuff. Remember when we used to call and ask for donations for stuff when we were yes, doing dinner? Yes, I for the sure church? did, honey. I asked. Y'all keep talking. I'm gonna I check called stuff. many uh, places and and asked if they wanted to donate to the church. I'm not asking for donations to the church. Now, <laughs> we please, y'all. I'm this. not telling y'all no, to donate something. We I'm need just, to thank Jennifer too. I don't know if if we need to say what she said us or just thank her for sending us a package oh yes um, um jennifer ask her yes please i guess i might i should have said her last name jennifer thank you so much she sent us two each of the uh how many pounds of those are the, crisco the big crisco the big cans of crisco she sent us two cans a piece that was wonderful thank you jennifer that was awful sweet of you and we definitely will be using it. Okay, now y'all can tell that this has this has been cooking for 30 minutes, and of course it's not brown. Um, it is going to be a thin layer, so I'm going to cook this another 20 minutes with the lid off without the foil. It's not heavy. I just okay. And if, and if those potatoes aren't brown or aren't done, you know what I'm going to do? Put it on brown. Broil. I'm going to broil it. Yeah, I'm going to. Because the potatoes are really done once they, um, those frozen hash browns, they're practically yeah. done. I mean, they're shredded, so. Yeah. 
it wouldn't be like there was a whole lot of them. I've got so, yeah, um, <clears throat> y'all, we're always talking about something about, you know, whether it's pecans or Cairo or, or Crisco yeah. or something. Um, we're just we're not we're asking, asking conversation. Right. We're so not asking y'all for things. Don't ever feel like that we are because we are not. And that's why I said, you know, I've had people to text me and say, you know, I feel so bad. I can't do this or I can't do that. Share our videos. That's we, all, yes. That is something that we everybody can do. We appreciate when you do send us things, but when we talk about what we're needing, we're not asking y'all to, no. to help us at all. It's just, that's just, we're, we're talking among ourselves. You know, we don't discuss what we're going to say before we get on here. And sometimes we make a mistake and say something we shouldn't say. Uh, but anyway, we, um, we just, we just talking like we was here by ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We're and just, we're letting everybody in on our little, little circle. <laughs> so I, I think most people that's been following us for a long time know that, you know, we are in our kitchens. They're not food test kitchens or professional kitchens. This is where we cook and live every day mm -hmm. at your house and at mine. Right. So, um, it's, um, it's, we do make mistakes, you know, not yeah. Lord knows I make plenty yeah. of them. <laughs> oh, I do too. Um, did anyone say anything else, Linda, that I need to write down? Um, no, I think our, the conversation has Kind of. Okay. It's okay. okay. That's so funny that y'all may think it's funny. Okay. I watch watch, watch TikToks a lot. We were talking about the Mexican food, which is what made me think of it. So there was a TikTok, and the waiter, they were at a Mexican restaurant, and the, ma the waiter brought them 12 corn tortillas, just flat corn tortillas with salsa. And the guy was like, I'm not going to eat 12 corn tortillas. What are you talking about? So he's like, the waiter was like, okay. So he took it back. He cut them into pieces, like into triangles, uh -huh. fried them, brought them back, and he ate all 12. <laughs> <laughs> you can eat a whole bag of chips well, yeah. if it's yeah. chip form, but yeah. I thought that was funny. That was funny. Uh, one of our followers, and I forgot who you was, sent me a little clip. Um, I don't know if it was a saying, if it actually really happened, but I thought it was cute, and I'm going to share it with y'all because it brought back memories for me so much. She said this little girl uh, always got into trouble in church. She never would. She just was always doing something, you know, and it reminded me kind of my little little Linda. Always happened to take her out and said she he would get up and, and take her out outside and uh, and give her a talk, talking to her lecture or whatever. And so um, she got, and one, one time when she got up uh, he got up while the preacher was preaching and took and was taking the little girl out and said uh, she said just as she was they was leaving out the out the, down the aisle of the church she turned around and hollered y'all pray for me <laughs> that does sound like something like Linda would that say that made me thank a little Linda so much <laughs> because because uh, little Linda I did I cared her out a lot. And you know what? You're probably the reason I have a flat booty. You're <laughs> <me> so much. <laughs> no, I wasn't even. I think that was the problem. I probably wasn't spanking you enough. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I really didn't. I really didn't. But I would just go out and have a real good talk to her. Sometimes I probably spattered her on the honey, but I didn't beat my kids. <laughs> uh, little Linda thought I did, but I didn't. <laughs> She was a oh, she was a little sneaker, and you know, now I don't know if it's because I'm a grandmother or not. But I look back and I thought, you know, um, I might have been causing her a little bit of nervousness because she really wasn't doing anything. She just wouldn't sit still, and you know, she just wanted to get up and she'd run down to the end of the aisle and she'd, she'd run back. And I cared her books and stuff to look at, but she wouldn't sit still. She just kept running. And, you know, a few times she got away from me. But anyway, but that's what she's doing. She really wasn't doing nothing, nothing real bad. It's just she would sit still. So, anyway. She was just acting. She was just girl. being a little a kid. And nowadays, I, I, you know, if it was my grandkid doing that, you know, I probably wouldn't do a thing. I you probably, probably just, wouldn't. I, pro <laughs> I probably wouldn't say a thing about it. Because <laughs> they just kids as kids, you know. 
they yeah. uh that it's hard it's harder for some kids to sit it is you and know it's very hard and it was hard for linda we're um when we were kids in church um and most of the time, the kids just went to sleep on a pallet under the pew. Yeah, I know. Not little Linda. <laughs> she wouldn't. She wouldn't fall asleep for nothing. And I, I'm like you. I thought she would, but not her. She was wide awake. Now Carla did. Carla slept in church some in Chuck. So, are you going to start decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving or after um, because of your yard? Uh, no, I've done tow Chuck the day. After Thanksgiving, that we're going to start putting the yard stuff up. But I'm not going to put it up before then. I want it up between Thanksgiving and the 1st of December. So okay. it would be up the 1st of December. What is that, three days? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be a yeah. pretty quick turnaround. Yeah, I know. But I'm pr I'm preparing him right now. He's already getting things ready because it's a big job just getting all it that is. stuff out. It's a really big job. So, um, And we're going to have some cold weather in the morning. Do you remember what I told y'all a few days ago? It's going to be a bad winter? That, no, that by the middle of this week, I, I'm not sure about that, but um, um, that we may see some 30s. Remember yeah, me and, saying that? Yeah, yeah, and it is too. It's and going. It's, it's going to be in the 30s in the morning, which right. is going to be really, really fun. I asked Chuck yesterday, I said, Chuck, are our pipes all covered and, and ready for, for this uh, for this weather? He said, Mother, every one of them, I know exactly where the little covers are. He said, all I got to do is put the covers on them, and other than that, they're all fixed. So I don't know what I'd do if it wasn't for him, because yep. uh, he keeps up with stuff like that. How much y'all want to bet I'm going to have to argue with Braden about wearing a shirt in the morning while we go on our run? I you probably you will. will. <laughs> you probably will. And shoes. I know it. But you better, he'll be getting sick if he don't in the morning because it's, it's going to be cold. Someone said they want you to make appetizers. Appetizers. You know what? I, I was thinking about that. I, I can do that. I've got a, a lot of different kind of appetizers. And, and do they want that in December? It just said appetizers. Okay, yeah. I've I got a, I, a lot of recipes for appetizers. So what are some that, that uh, we, I can do the pinwheels? There's so many kinds of pinwheels, and I can tell them how you can take basically the same basic recipe and mix different ingredients and in it, it to make, make it, it different. different. Yeah. yeah, I can do some pinwheels, and I'll probably do those mac and cheese bites, uh, which I'm going to be doing those pretty soon anyway. And can't you get uh, can you get red uh, corn tortillas around the holidays? I don't I know. So. Did, did you can I, get avocado. Did I dream that up or green? I know yeah. you get avocado, the green ones. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Because I've done those for your party. I was the green say, ones. I thought I saw some yes, color. Yes, avocado. Ones. I did a vegetable. I did a vegetable pinwheel in the avocado wraps. Yeah. Okay. And then do meatballs, beanie weenies wrapped in bacon. There's a lot of appetizers. You can oh, do there's poppers. a cheese. Cheese. Um, I don't know what they're called, but it, you use bread. You use. Um, white bread okay. cut the trim off put you some cheese in the in the middle and roll them up oh this is where you fry. roll out the you roll out the bread i don't mm -hmm. you roll okay. the bread flat yeah that's another appetizer oh there's just lots of appetizers that we can do those might be have to be in clips and put together maybe okay I don't know. we'll figure it out that's a good idea yeah um i know last year I had planned to do um, a party punch that um, that Mike and I made every Christmas for many decades up until the last few when we quit making it because it makes such a big punch bowl full and uh, we don't eat like we used to. We can't eat mm -hmm. as much and right. used to on Christmas Eve we had snacks is what we had. We'd have just all kinds of snacks. And we did this for so many years, and then we would fix the punch, and we would eat the punch, drink the punch with our snacks. Are you going to do the, um, what is it, that uh, mix that you do uh, for the Christmas? caramel crackers? Yes, caramel crackers. Caramel crackers. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'll do caramel crackers. Caramel crackers are just, that's, to me, that's something like popcorn. When you start eating it, you don't know when to stop. And, and you it can do this delicious. ahead of time, and it stays yes. good uh, yeah. if you can keep it around. Yeah. Because it's just one, one thing that you want to just keep reaching in yeah. and snacking on. Right. And it's really good. Um, oh, oh, we can think of all kinds of things. Probably more things than we'll be able to cook. 
because yeah. we got we we got a lot of good recipes. There was things last year that I wanted to cook that we never did get to yeah, because we I ran know. out of we ran. That's out of why days. we're going to have to separate some, uh, do video some separate is because yeah. at home we can do something takes a lot less time than traveling three hours out of the day. Yeah, and this. This what I'm making Monday. Mm -hmm. It actually could be an appetizer. Yes, it, it could. Yes, it could. Yes, it could. And and they can be made several different ways uh, too. So that would be something mm -hmm. that that you could use yeah. as an appetizer. You know how it used to be when we were kids. Now, Mama always fixed breakfast, but when we were having a big dinner like at Mom and Paul's, um, I'm sure that we ate breakfast. But because of the men folk <laughs> always hunting, <laughs> there was never anybody, uh, we never ate until the men folk got back from hunting, right. and got we cleaned didn't. up and sat down. Sometimes we would be hungry. that might be 2.30 or 3 o'clock right. and That's we right. would be starving. That's right. We sure would. Um, so and this would we be didn't something. Eat. No, we did we not eat. We did not eat. Molly said, no, we don't, we wait for the men folks. Yep. Yeah. And uh, this would be something, these little appetizers to have. Yes, yes. Like, um, While you're if waiting. you don't want to get up and cook a big breakfast, because who has time on Thanksgiving or Christmas, whenever you're having it, whether it's Christmas Day, Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. or the week after Christmas, yeah. like we do, your stove is completely full. You yeah. don't have time or a place to get up and fix a big breakfast. So what we've always done is we have... A lot of stuff that people can eat, whether it's it's a piece of pie or right. whatever they I can did eat. The, something. I did the colossus one to, uh, yeah one year, and I've got a recipe for I'm I've got that on my calendar too. A ham and cheese uh, colossus, kind of like a little, not necessarily a to go breakfast, but something that you could just pick just up and eat. and microwave and, right. and uh, put it stick it in the you can free, make these ahead of time. Stick it in the freezer, put them in a baggie, and then whenever the kids on um, the morning of or whatever, you could just hand them one, put it in the microwave, and right, you're and not it, dirtying up the kitchen trying to. Cook another breakfast. thing too with with kids nowadays, um, and and I'm not saying this to you know to be harsh or critical or anything. But when we were kids, everybody got up at the same time. Yeah, we did. The first one yeah. got up, lit yeah, the heater, and that was either usually Mama, Daddy, or Charles yeah. that got up and lit the heater. We had a big space heater. Um, but the other kids didn't decide they were going to sleep in. When it got time to get up, everybody got up yeah. and got dressed. Yeah, we did. We didn't wander around in our pajamas or gowns. We got yeah. up and got dressed. Yeah, we did. Nowadays... Uh, you know, you've got this kid that maybe didn't sleep well the night before or, or that has trouble sleeping, and they don't get up till 11 or 12 o'clock. Yeah. You know? And you see people in the stores in the pajamas. That's <laughs> <laughs> the truth. Hilarious. It never amazes me I whenever know. I... Or the airport. Yeah. <laughs> It's convenience, you know. I mean, it's just I guess everything it goes. It's, it's certainly not, uh, certainly not like we used to grow up. I mean, people used to when we went to church, and I think some churches do now. But they wore hat and gloves to church. Yes, ma'am. I love hats. I'd still wear hats if I, I wouldn't. Don't. If I if I didn't feel out of place, I'd still wear hats. Hats are not my I thing. Love my hats. head gets too hot. I do not. I didn't take that after my pinky mall. She no. she loved hats yeah. and she made hats. Yes, she did. I made some too. Yep. I made some hats. I but, love hats, um, but I don't like anything on my head at all because I just get too hot. Now um, you checking I'm the potatoes? I'm to check on okay. these, and if they're not done, I think they should be done. If they're not brown, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the broiler on because we have we have been on an hour. Your glass is all yep. fogged up. <laughs> And they are definitely are not brown, but we're going to check and see if they're done. The bottom of them are getting brown. Yeah. Here, get a fork. And, okay. And Is this fork right here one that you was stirring yeah, with I just, ago? Yeah, I just, uh, I'm going to get one too. But Oh, okay. I, I, uh, you want to taste it. I want to check this middle for, for one thing. They're done, but they're not brown. Mm-hmm. And they need some more salt yep. on them. Sorry, I didn't get enough salt. I don't put much salt on my food. I should have known to put more on there for you. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry. Some more pepper, too? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put a little bit more pepper. Okay, I'm going to turn this off, and I'm going to put this back in there. you got to watch it close. I would like to, um, of course, I think I've already said this, but if you know that there's certain things that you're going to use for, for the holidays, you need to get them when you see them in the store, if you can, because it's, and especially Christmas things, because they, don't, they only get it in one time, some, some things that they have around the holidays. So um, I did, you know, if you can, in your budget, Go ahead and get it because you're going to wind up not having it. And that coconut's one of the things. I'm fixing to start going to every store I can find and buying that baker's um, coconut. The um, cash saver down there, uh -huh. I got three bags the other Did day. You? Yeah. I've got and, I've um, got four bags right now, but I use I use two or three bags for for the church. And see, you can tell it's good because it's yeah, real moist. Right. It's the, this is the best kind. Baker's yep. is the best kind of coconut. It's sweetened coconut, and it's Baker's. Um, and I'm sorry about store brands, but it's dry. It's it not is. sweet. It's it not is. moist. It is. Um, so if you're looking for coconut, you better start getting it now. Yeah, exactly. Was it last One year? One year I before think last year, you could not find you it could anyway. Not find anywhere. this at all. That's why I've been buying it up. Um, and the other thing is the almond bark and the chocolate bark. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hand okay. this to you because I'm going to check this. And where do you buy this at, Linda? I bought you it buy this at Safe, at Cash Saver. At Cash Saver. Um, <coughs> and, and how much cheaper is this uh, than it is at Walmart, Linda? Do you know? I didn't see it at Walmart. Okay. okay. I think that was. And it melts fifth. just as good, doesn't it, Linda? Yeah, it that was two fifty, two sixty, or something like okay. that, Mary. I can't remember exactly okay. what it was, but um, well, I'm um, I'm fixing to go through my cu cupboard and and um, and take as much of it to the church as I can that that we need for the um, for our fall fest. And um, I start so I have room to put some stuff for the holidays. I'm gonna grab a what do you need? Saucer. I'm, I'm gonna just get a saucer out of there, or a couple saucers for us to take this. Yes. When we take Oh, thank you for asking. Um, he is doing better. Um, the MRI that they took uh, was good. There was nothing. Uh, unremarkable about that, and he has to have these ever so many years because of, you know, the brain tumor. Are you going to bring it over here? Yeah, I'm going to bring it up there. Thank you, Mary. Um, so that was good. Um, he's had several of these attacks since he went the other day for the test, but the other day when he had one of them, I had him to take his blood pressure immediately, and it was really high. What was it? So I said, okay. First of all, I want you to just go outside and walk. He come back in and it dropped 40 points just by going outside and walking. Just get outside and, and get yeah. some fresh breath. So breath we're working on two or three things to kind of combat that. Um, his air passages close up and then it sends him into a panic attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and for anybody that's had trouble breathing, whether you have bad sinuses or if you have COPD, which Mike doesn't, but... Um, it's um, it's terrifying. Mm -hmm. You can't breathe. Yeah. You feel like you yeah. can't breathe. That's yeah. scary. Yeah. I keep checking this, but thank you very much for asking. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking Chuck to the doctor this afternoon to get an MRI. Uh, his his back, back, right? His back, yeah. His and back. will the doctor give the results back pretty quick? or I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully they will. I know they they've already nice. got him appointment in Houston at a back doctor, but we're we're gonna wait and see what the MRI says first. Y'all, in case y'all wonder why I keep checking this, I don't want this to burn, so I'm I keep checking it. Well, I know it will eventually get a good crust on yeah, it. Right. I like my hash browns crispy, don't you, Mary? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. So that's why. I'm, um, I know it's going to be good. Wanting to get a little bit. I hope it's not going to be dry. That's what I'm hoping. Well, I see a little bit of butter in the bottom. It, that's what I was going to say. You could just put a little brush at the top with butter. But but 
it might be too much no, better because you've got butter I think that's a good idea. You know. In fact, I thought about that earlier. Yeah. Um, Y'all bear with us just a minute here. <laughs> Even though they're done, they just yeah. will look prettier if they right. got some color on them. And you got to get well, out of here too because yeah, you got, you got yeah. two. I've got, um, I've got a lot of things to do uh, this afternoon. I got to... I they're, think that I think that's good enough, Linda. I think not, that's. I, they're not burnt, they're but, not but color, those but those that sticking up are getting brown. So it. Um, I'm gonna put this over there. Okay. On the thing. All right. Now, do you want the spatula or what? Uh, or or a spoon. Just yeah. Just get a spoon. Okay. Get us a fork to taste. Well, of here's it. the fork I used a while ago. Yours is over there. Okay, we're just going to take a bite of this, and I will get a little bit more. Help yourself, Mary. I'll get a little bit more uh, color on that. Linda, you want to show them what it looks like on the bottom? i just going to get a little bit. It didn't stick. That cheese on the bottom, yeah, it didn't good. stick. Yeah. It looks good, don't it? Yeah. Smells like breakfast. <laughs> it smells good. We need a scrambled egg. And yeah. A... Do you want me to fix you an egg? No, 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 no. Linda, do you want one? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Hot. Yeah, I know I don't want to burn my tongue. Something I tasted the other day. What was it? Soup or something that burned my tongue. When are you going to make the puppies? And who's making them? Monday. I am. Oh, okay. It tastes good, doesn't it's it? delicious. Absolutely delicious. Linda, you're going to like this. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. Thank you, Jesus. That's good. So, you want to allow enough time. This is going to take about an hour to bake mm -hmm. in the oven. Um, allow enough time if you're making breakfast to start this first mm -hmm. before you do your the rest of your stuff. I think you actually could put more meat in this and you wouldn't even have to have meat yeah, just that's some a eggs and meal. toast to go with it it's delicious in fact i think i think when we get through i'll just make some toast and yeah. make like a little it's late breakfast very to go with very this. good very good so far very plain easy recipe um that takes a little bit to cook uh y'all should get in the kitchen and try yeah. this yeah it's really good so All we'll right. see y'all tomorrow. Don't forget to count your blessings. We love y'all. And join us tomorrow. Don't forget to share, like, and follow. Bye. Bye-bye.